Welcome. There are three cardinal signs I want you to look out for, particularly if you're experiencing spina related pain, inflammation, potentially from the neck, could be from a herniated disc, a bulging disc, or the lower back. Uh, if you have uh, degenerative joint disease, arthritic, osteoarthritic changes, spondylosis, degeneration going on the joints is potentially encroaching or narrowing the nerve that's coming out. Understand that the nerves that come out of the neck supply the areas in the shoulder, arm into the hand and fingers, they go down the shoulder blade and into the chest. The nerves in the lower back supply the lower back, go to the buttocks, down the leg, commonly called the sciatic nerve that goes behind the thigh to the knee and to the rest of the leg and the foot and toes. So you can experience tingling, burning. Now you can have a problem in the neck, have no symptoms and have burning and pain into the arm or potential weakness. But that's where I'm going. I want you to understand that the tingling and the numbness is just the sensory portion of the nerve. The burning, the pain is the sensory portion. The other portion is called the motor portion of the nerve. It has two portions. The motor portion of the nerve is, is bigger than the sensory portion. But the motor portion controls the motor strength. So if you notice that you're having weakening, maybe of the bicep or maybe of the leg, and you also notice that the muscle is getting thinner or smaller as compared to the other side. So that is something you need to look into further, follow up with a physician, a physician and get that checked out. Because if you're losing motor strength, you may not have pain or symptoms. You just may have weakness and notice that it's smaller than the other side. So if it's your right leg or your left leg sciatica, compare your thigh to the other, th other thigh. Compare your calf to the other calf. If it's your bicep, compare your bicep to the other bicep. So it's important you understand what atrophy means. It means that the muscle's getting smaller and weaker. Even though it feels weaker, you may not recognize the weakness. But if you notice the bicep is smaller than the other, the tricep is smaller, or the, the calf, or the hamstring, or whatever muscle it is that's potentially being innervated, the neck innervates the upper extremities, the lower back innervates the lower extremities, the sooner you can catch it, and the earlier you get to a doctor or a physician that's trained to diagnosis, the, the odds of you getting better is going to be much higher and much quicker. If you leave this alone, and you notice you're not having a lot of pain, but you're seeing muscles get weaker and you're seeing it getting smaller, that can be something that may be irreversible. So I, I, the most important thing in this particular educational video is that you understand to find these things early enough so you can get proper care and treatment. So please leave your comments below. There are thousands of people out there who read these that have similar problems as you do. That's why this blog is here to communicate and help each other. Refer this video and send this video out to those that can benefit. I'm sure many of those people would be appreciative to get this type of video to make them become more educated and hopefully observe it soon enough so they don't have permanent problems. I ask you to subscribe if you haven't so you can continue to receive the best of the self-help videos here on the internet. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.